everyone, I'm Jen, Interpretation Officer at Royal Botanical Gardens. I'm really lucky to have this nice patch of woods behind my house where there's some really interesting trees that I'd like to learn more about. And I know just the person who can help me. Nadia is our field botanist and herbarium curator at RBG. And she knows her plants. So I'm gonna call her to see if she can help me out. Hi Nadia, it's nice to see you. Hi Jen, it's nice to see you. It looks like you're outside. I am, I'm just behind my house where we have some really interesting trees and I thought maybe you could help me identify them. They have some pretty cool dark, so maybe you can identify them just on that. I think so. Can you describe them for me? This one has really uh, light brown, almost a grayish bark, and it's quite rough, and it looks like it has these big scales that are flaking off from the trunk. That's very cool bark. It's very distinct bark too, so this tree is easy to identify at any time of year. You see how the scales curl up at the bottom and at the top too? That's a shagbark hickory. Only mature trees have bark like that though. Young shagbark hickories have smooth bark. It's native to southern Ontario and it produces nuts. Do you see any on the ground? You might find husks or empty shells. Squirrels and rabbits love to eat them because they're delicious and nutritious. I think I found some. They're uh, nice and smooth and have got some little ridges or it's split, almost like a four pattern on the bottom. Is there anything else cool about these trees? Yes, the buds are beautiful in the spring. They're big buds. And when they swell in the spring, the scales open up to look like a red flower. Then the scales fall off and the big compound leaves grow out. I can show you what the leaves will look like in the summer with an image from our digital herbarium. I know you often use the herbarium to help identify plants by looking at press specimens that have been collected in the past, like this one. It looks like it has five little leaves. At first glance, it looks like it's five little leaves but it's not. The whole thing is one leaf, so it's a compound leaf. Thanks, Nadia. I've got another tree I'm wondering about, and its bark is almost the opposite of the shagbark hickory. It's smooth and a silvery gray color. It doesn't have any of those scales. The trunk almost looks like an elephant leg, and there's some leaves that are still hanging on from last year. Those are some good clues. That looks like an American beech. They often hold on to their dead leaves throughout the winter. We call that marcescence when they don't shed their leaves. American beech produce nuts too, but they're spiky. They're harder to find because beeches produce less nuts and animals love them. That's really cool that the spiky nuts are from the smooth bark tree and the smooth nuts are from the rough bark tree. I also really like their leaves. They're a pretty simple leaf and it's got these nice jagged edges. It's the teeth that make the leaf look jagged. And if you look closely at the leaf, there's a vein that ends in the tip of each tooth. That's particular to beech trees. That's really fun. I've also noticed that on quite a few of these beech trees that people have carved words or images into the bark. That's really bad for the tree, right? That's really bad for the trees. It opens them up to pests and diseases. Right now they're really vulnerable, so leaving the bark intact is so helpful for them. Well, thanks so much, Nadia. I really enjoyed learning more about some of the trees around me. It's wonderful to know that each one is special and unique, and it's great to spend time in nature just exploring and learning more, so I really appreciate it. You're very welcome. Enjoy your walk. Bye, Jen. Bye.